What's up guys, FluxDedge again, and this is part two to the Cyber Slums asset tutorial that I'm going to be showing you how I made. So in part one, I showed you how to make these pipes, and I also showed you how to make cables using Reaper. And if you haven't seen that already, feel free to go back to part one and watch that. Now we're going to move on to part two, where I'm going to be teaching you how to make these signs. So let's get into that. So obviously, those signs were a big part of my render. They added so many lights and a, a bunch of extra detail that you wouldn't otherwise have. So we're going to start off with a cube as usual. Turn on my garage shading lines, make this the size of a frame, something like that. And this is totally up to your design and how you see fit. These are the same ones I've used before in uh, my transporter video. So I'm going to add the fillet surfaces or fillet um, edges, crank the subdivisions up a little bit, hit C on my keyboard to make this editable, go to my polygon mode, click in here, right click, extrude, enter, make that frame, and then I'm going to right click again and extrude, holding left click, I'm going to drag left. And now this is going to be my glass pane. So create shader, 40 octane material. Whenever that feels like opening. Go into specular. Now I know last time I said with lights you don't want to use a specular material. Well that's because the light isn't projecting through on this one. It's just reflecting that light. So using a specular material makes more sense in this uh, tutorial. So I'm adding that to it. And as you can cr see, it created a set tag. You always want your tag, um, your selection tag, uh, just so you can quickly select anything in this. So I'm going to rename this glass. Now I'm going to go to select and invert my selection, create another material. I'm just going to make this a really basic glass black. Throw it on the frame, which I'm going to set up here as frame. So now if I click between the set tags, selection tags, you can see me switching back and forth. So let me, I don't think that material actually applied. Delete that, double click that. There we go, now it's there. I don't think the other one applied either. Okay, open up Octane, uh, the live viewer. So now we've got this nice uh, picture frame style poster board, which is kind of like this. It's basically the same exact thing that I created. So now we need the lights. So all the lights is, all the lights are, or the text is a Motex object. You're going to go in here, type a bunch of random stuff. I had some kind of line of code that I found on the internet. Wasn't anything crazy. The more you have in your characters, the harder, or the yeah, the harder this is going to be on your machine. It's going to be more resource intensive. So I'm going to make this a lot smaller, scaling it down. Now, obviously, you'd want to adjust your fonts, but I have too many fonts; it takes a while to load, so I'm not going to change it. can see my computer's pretty slow. Now, I always recommend making your models outside of your scene, um, which in my speed arts, you always see me do that. I'll create a new scene and then I'll start making the models and I'll export them in when I'm ready. Otherwise, your scene will start to low, really, really bog down with all of these different polygons. So you want to keep this a little distance away so it gets the reflection and it looks more like a um, projected hologram off of the screen, which is what we're trying to achieve. Now, before I make the material, I'm going to duplicate this, bring this up, and I'm going to delete all of this. I'm going to change this to fluxed. And font makes a huge difference, so keep that in mind. Kind of like I did in the video. 
at this. Then I'm going to make a second one and say Subway. Eat fresh. Drag this over. Make it a bit bigger. Select both of these and make them smaller. Okay, so now I want these to be the same depth. 6.5 I think is something I was using. So if the thinner they are, the more they're going to look like holograms. You don't want it to be super 3D. But it's fine if there's a little bit of depth to them. On this scale, it's not going to be a huge deal. So now I have my scene. My sign. <laughs> And we want to create an emissive material. So create new shader, Cinema 4D Octane material. Click on this, emission, black body. We'll do the first one is white. Make the to white. And then drag this with holding uh, control, double click RGB spectrum under Cinema 4D Octane. Click in here, change it to green or whatever color you want. Go back, want it more green, less blue. That's good. Drag this on there. It's still way too blue. There we go. So now you've got a, a sign. <laughs> and like I said, details matter. Um, this one I made the same way as I have in my uh, Illustrator to Cinema 4D tutorial. So basically I made all of these lines in a in an Illustrator file and I exported it into Cinema 4D. And then I changed the colors and did the same thing that I just showed you. And then I used a different font. And with these, like I said, I use some random lines of code just to make it look, you know, different. So going back into this, always when you're using emissive lights, it makes a huge difference to enable your post settings. Bring up the bloom, actually changes the path tracing. And if we add a daylight, and kind of see that they're glowing now. So yeah, as you can see, that's how you create these digital signs. Um, if you want to mess around with this uh, emissive material a little more, you can always change the opacity. If you bring it down though, you might have to adjust the brightness. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions about this, feel free to ask me, go on to my YouTube page, go to my community channel or my community tab and, uh, leave any comments or questions. And also if you haven't already, which I know not a lot of people have, cause I just made it well a month ago, but I have created a discord channel. I want as many people in there as possible. We can all help each other, but more so I will answer your questions. I will be putting materials in there. I'll be putting models in there as well as my website. If you want to download this render, um, I've added an 8K version. So that's 7680 by 4320. You can add it to cart and you'll get the free download. Nothing tied to this. Just download it. Please don't, you know, sell it or anything. But yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching.